Hello, this is video log 20 on the sit on the 27th of September 2017. Um, so I went to see my doctor today and um, I had to do that because when I weighed myself this morning I was down to 40 kilos which is my lowest ever recorded weight since about the age of 12 or 13. Um, and that puts me at a BMI of 14.7, which is really getting dangerously low. Um, but the reason why this keeps happening is because it's, there's just very few things I can eat. And I can only eat tiny portions because my, it just sits in my stomach for so long and I don't digest it properly. Um, and these sort of problems are common in Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because... Down. Because... Um, the, just the guts and the intestines are all, and the stomach are all just too stretchy, which means that they don't function normally. Um, so, I've stay there. <laughs> um, spoken to the GP about it, and she's told me um, she's not sure what to do because she's not come across anything like this before. Uh, she doesn't know how to deal with it, and she thinks I'll have to wait until I can get in to see um, a specialist EDS centre. Um, for it and um, I'm really worried because my weight has dropped a lot since just a few days ago when I last weighed myself um, and uh, it's horrible just not being able to eat and feeling yourself like really slowly starving to death um, what I'd like them to do is just put a tube in to give me my food and bypass my stomach so that I could just then get the right amount of calories. Um, but unfortunately they won't do that at the minute because they just don't know enough about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, you know, um, and they don't know how to manage it. So I'll just have to um, leave that one for a while and then go back to the GP uh, in a week or two and just keep pestering them and hope that eventually um, they'll refer me to the right person or if my weight gets low enough maybe they will start tube feeding anyway um, but of course I'm trying to avoid that by eating as much as I can. I even asked the GP if she could prescribe some of these um, weight gain drinks that you can get for people with cancer and stuff like that but apparently because um, I'll just then drink those instead of eating food, she's not willing to let me have any, which I think is really frustrating. Um, but I think that's the guidelines that they've been given. So, um, I'm feeling a bit frustrated with all that. There's uh, not much I can do about it at the minute. I don't know what food I'm going to take with me to university tomorrow and that's become a bit of a major problem now because um, I just can't think of anything suitable that I could bring. I need to eat things like, you know, a baked potato without the skin, just plain uh, things like that, you know, just a plain baked chicken breast and if anything's, you know, been contaminated by gluten that causes me problems. Uh, so I'll probably not be able to eat much tomorrow, which is a problem. Um, and the actually, um, the GP got a letter from my um, endocrinologist, which said that I had delayed gastric emptying because um, that would explain why I get low blood sugar. Because um, I eat things, I release insulin, and then there's just too much insulin and it lowers blood sugar and the food doesn't get down through the stomach to actually give me the energy to make up for it. <sighs> so, um, I'm going to have to pursue that one more in future. Um, I'll just leave it for a, a few, the next few days. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited to start my course tomorrow. Um, if only I can find something to eat that I can bring. <laughs> Uh, probably just some of those Complan milkshake drinks. Mwah. So, wish me luck with my first day of my illustration course tomorrow, please. 
um, I'm a bit nervous I won't be able to draw well with my right arm because of the, all the problems with my shoulder um, but fingers crossed I'll be able to do a bit. Bye bye for now.